So the picture that I got above my head, man, is the infamous Seoul, South Korea, 1988 meter dash where Ben Johnson absolutely dominated, running a time of 9.79. This is a time that was thought impossible. They used to think that you can't even run a 9.9 really back then. And you know, this is 1988. This... Nobody ran a 9.79 until 10 years later with Maurice Green or whatever. Like they even called Lewis I ain't even run sub sub. I think he ran like a nine a nine eight four something like that. Nobody was running like this. But can you guess who Ben Johnson is? This just lets you know that when somebody look, they, they long story short, Ben Johnson was cheating. They found out. You know, it wasn't. It, it was all before. It was, the way that they found out was complete malarkey and BS. But nevertheless, they found out that he was cheating. But I want y'all to look and see the difference between a 9.8 something and 9.79. That is astronomical. This guy is obviously cheating, and everybody else does not see. You see how clo how closely clustered they are together. Saying all that to say this, we already know that yesterday was ruffles. And we know that that's when them cheaters come out, bro. And if you are cheating and the people are close to you, you probably shouldn't complain about somebody cheating because how are you keeping pace with a cheater lest you are cheating as well? But you know what you don't have to cheat about? You don't gotta cheat about that VC, man, because your boy got y'all on that VC. Check it out. All you gotta do is like the video and comment down below something like that and just anything just comment whatever you want to and i'll give y'all a secret word to comment at the end of it and you are in uh you already in the drawing to win a 50 dollars gift card it's gonna be it can be vc i can cash out your 50 dollars. i will even buy you one copy of 2k if you win depending on what it is you want and we're gonna do the drawing friday we did the drawing yesterday you better go back and watch that video the stream from yesterday to see if you won below so 91 that's who won so if you if you know if you uh hit me up man I got you and all of that good stuff, man. But look, with all that being said, we're going to get right into the show. But first of all, good morning out there in 2K land, man. Check it out, bro. Look, first off, before we get into all of the uh, ruffles and all of this stuff, because y'all know that's why we're talking about cheating and stuff like that, man. Let me holler at my boy. I want to show my boy Coat the Goat, man. He uh, He's on Operation Slim and Trim like a bicycle rim. Boy, that boy out there looking like a linebacker, boy. Hey, that boy say I went from 300 and six, 360 out this motherfucker. He went from 360 pounds to 235. I lost 130 pounds in a year, man. Job not finished, but I'm celebrating every step of the way. And like I said, man, anytime you do something like that, man, it's dope. You can do it. He's been working with a trainer. He's been out there doing his thing, man. I can't lie to y'all, man. Proud of that guy because, like we said, He's been going at it, been showing every step of the journey, all that stuff, man. Couldn't put up the other stuff because, hey, bro, I, I mean, you know what I'm saying? But look, he doing his thing. Big shout out to him. That's what it's all about. So glad that the 2K and the 2K League is, is having people to, we're, we're worried about your gameplay as well as your health, man. Super dope. And, uh, you know, big shout out to Coke the Goat. Up next, man, we got the Rup. Bro, why is this like this? Did I not, is it just too far over? I, I got OCD, okay? So I don't know why that is doing that, but I got I got to fix it, man. I got to. Y'all bear with me for one second. And I gave such a great intro. That, there we go. Okay. That was bothering, that was bothering the shit out of me. I couldn't help it. Anyway, Ruffles was a huge W. I finished all my badges while doing it as well. Can we have more than one event during the week, please? So uh, please, 2K, if you're gonna only do four hours of Ruffles. That's what it's all about. That's what Ruffles is supposed to be about. You go on the, on these events, it's supposed to be about you go in, you get double XP, you get boosted up. You know what I'm talking about? You, you, you can finish your players and you can do a whole lot of this stuff. You win a little VC while you're doing it and then everybody can enjoy themselves. Unfortunately, these events too many times, they aren't about that. It ends up being about this right here, man. Secured the first ever Ruffles 2K of 2K23, uh, one of 32 winners in the whole world, Craig. Shout out to my team. And you know they start, they talk about all of this stuff, man. We gonna we gonna we gonna look at them. We gonna check them out right here, man. Can y'all see it right here? Nope, you can't. We just gonna go right here. We just go right here. Look, man. Like they won. What? What? Let's. We just go go through the points. Uh, what's that? Nine hundred and ten thousand points. Jesus Christ. Look, I don't think I hit more than like 500, something like that. Then, you know, shout out to the squad and all of that good stuff. These guys will later be packed out. And, uh, yeah, they, 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 they're not up there no more. Because they was on Xbox or whatever. And, um, 
it is what it is. The way that we know that they got packed out, well, here we go. We got uh we got uh this fellow he he did this video trying to say you know appearing offline for four hours blah 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 and then you know here we go right here so now y'all see that those scores are distinctly different from the ones that we had just put up there i don't know why you know or or how or what have you you know what happened but these just try i guess he's trying to expose him but that boy solo d left say i was in the court he played legit they banned the other boosters he's dropping a vid soon and i you know i guess i guess you know it, it's gotta be it's gotta be that's pretty uh legit because we're looking at it and uh you look at the what, what's the points that he had we got to take and see how many how many points he had somebody said bro you got to get you a life or whatever i don't know about this i just know that you can't be as close to the team so he had what uh double eight seven seven hundred and eight thousand points and then you know my boy badgy pluggy so you know just just to kind of corroborate what's what's going on bad badgy pluggy he didn't get banned they uh you know he wasn't cheating whatever you know he said he wasn't cheating because you know we're talking about four hours of not losing and uh you know I'm, I'm not even in the top 10 and so he wasn't even in the top 10 with 721 points so uh you know i guess it's all legit or whatever but the big thing is that uh you know it, it just is what it is joe knows goes on to cooperate the story he says yep as soon as i was four and oh i saw some dude was basically at 12 and oh i knew something wasn't right and then uh badgy plugger says i'm so confused i'm just so confused why there's no top 50 of all the players uh or top 100 or anything like that it's wild the biggest thing is with all of this man we already know that dudes is out here cheap we know it we know it you can't win these events unless you're cheating and i'm glad that 2k has done something about it, it looks like they packed them out it looks like they banned them it looks like they got them up out of here like i said solo df said the people that were cheating they did get banned as y'all saw when we looked at that again those guys that were at the top of the list they were no longer at the top of the list let me go back real quick and you know what i'm saying we're gonna we're gonna check it out uh visual snack well i mean i guess they are still at the top of the list i don't know they said they got packed out y'all let me know if they did or not do y'all think they was cheating do y'all think everybody cheating do you think if somebody's even close they was cheating i don't know all i know is the simple truth is this with this being johnson if you're close to the cheaters you're probably cheating as well there's no way, it's just like when we used to do the, uh, it's, it's just like when we used to do what, what the uh, legend grind and people would be like, bro, he's cheating. And it's like, but you 10,000 points behind him, like one game behind him basically. So how are you not cheating also? There's no way you can keep pace with him unless you are doing something nefarious as well. And like I said, that's why that's why, that's why you see Bass Floor wasn't even in the whole top 10. That joke was all, out, all the way out there, like 13 or something like that. But you know, it is what it is. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Does 2K need to do a better job of that? How can they police it better? And are they doing a good job of it? As when I heard the mobile one people got banned that uh, were doing it. And also, when you go in there, you do have to sign in and it says you agree to the terms of service. So when you're agreeing to those terms of services, you could get banned. You already know what time it is, so it is what it is. Up next, we got the boy. Hey, look, look, controversy with Solo and Gento. Uh, pretty much, Solo, uh, Gento is uh, using Solo's thumbnails. He says, I told him to change his thumbnail. Oh, I copyrighted it. He said, cry. Then, just upload it again and stole another thumbnail what's good with this guy gento i don't know man just over going through a hard time the last couple of years though bro we we all know that it's one of them things where i i don't i don't know exactly what's happening but you know he's going through a tough time that ain't cool man you can't be stealing people thumbnails though gento come on baby you better than that but like i said ain't an excuse it just is what it is uh hopefully they get that sit that that together and all that good stuff and uh you know because they said the same thing about anonymous hopefully this ain't gonna be one of them joints where they, where they piling on piling on piling on it's easy enough to get thumbnails and thumbnail makers and stuff like that we ain't got to be stealing people thumbnails and stuff like that up next we got the boy ej ej says bro what the f the amount of crowds i'm pulling on 2k23 current gen did uh wait oh damn he said it's supposed to be damn the next gen is insane we average 1.6 on tiktok 400 plus views on YouTube, 600 plus viewers on Twitch, all at the same damn time. Wow, this is the best feeling ever. Thank y'all for real, man. So it, it, what y'all telling me, is current gen the wave or is it the wave if one or two people go back, bro? That's all I'm saying. Is it the wave or is it the wave for if some, like it ain't the wave for everybody, but if one person goes back then, you know what I'm saying, they're gonna be able to 
get a whole bunch of views or do I just need to start making current gen content too? Cause I go over there and make a center right now and I start streaming on current gen right now if I can pull that type of crowd. Is y'all telling me something that I need to be or do I need to stay on next gen? I ain't gonna lie man, this has been my best month ever in YouTube history so I think I'm gonna stay on next gen. Up next we going to fast show today, community clips. That boy said, hey that boy Phoenix, he just said something light. Going straight to that rack. I own three, three piece. Uh -huh. Hey, I mean, we're going to watch that thing one more time. <laughs> hey, and then last but not least, OG Slasher Extraordinaire, D Man UNT. Look at, look at, look at him right here. Coming up out that corner, Slasher Life with me on his ass. Yes. Get up, motherfucker. Woo. Motherfucker, get up. Look at it one more time. Out of the corner. Coming up out that corner, D Man UNT. Here you go. Back on his head. Well, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I love these community clips, man. Y'all make sure y'all keep them joints coming, man. Y'all appear to love them too, and all that good stuff, man. So I appreciate it. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Is courage in the wave, or is or is it just a lot of people that's over there and they just can't really get off? And also, what y'all think about this whole thing? Is 2K banning the people? Did they ban them? I don't know if they banned them or not, but I know that. They don't appear to be on the list anymore of who won or whatever like that. I guess we just got to look. But it just, say, it just says something that, like, why are so many people cheating for some unlimited boosts? I understand why. But dang, like, I think the 2K got to at some point has to say, look, man, we know that people are cheating. We know what people are doing. And, uh, like, we just need to go back to not even... Do we do we need to go back to not even letting you know having those unlimited boosts and stuff because it's really crazy because nobody's gonna win except for the people that boost. It takes us 30 to 40 minutes just to get in and play our first game. How are they in there so quickly? A lot of people have told us how they do it, but it's just insane that they know and 2K knows and there's just nothing there. Well, I guess you can't do anything about it during it, but they do something about it after the fact. So we're gonna rock with that. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think now in the comment section, man. Y'all put um Hey, what are we gonna put down in the comment section? Put bars at the end of your comment in the comment section if you made it this far. I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Channel. Guys, speak. Guys, speak.